hi when you when you visit different websites uh, the font will be different uh, the size of it will be different color will be different and the styling of the font will be different so how do these websites get different colors or different varieties of fonts is by using the font properties now what are the font properties popular font properties is one is the color you can set the color of the text or the color of the font to any color now these colors can be either named colors or you can also use uh, the uh, hexadecimal code and the next one is font weight so font weight actually decides how bolder the font should look like should it be normal or should it be bolder or in case if it is bolder how bolder okay so you can use bold but we will see what are the varieties there and the size of the font you can set the size of the font by giving some number here okay we will see what are the numbers that are allowed and then font families so there are already uh, prefix there are already many font families available and many browsers support them in case if you want a font family which is not supported by a browser go to google fonts then if you like a font they will give you a link for the font to be downloaded you include it in your style sheet then automatically you are going to get that font okay so there are many varieties many families are there many families of font are there it is unnecessary to discuss about the font families here okay so you can use any font family that you want now coming to the size of the font there are various ways you can set the size of the font now if you go to some websites and if you see the uh, css the style sheets i will show you how to see the style sheets of a website uh, in the next in the uh, after this topic so there you will see various representations some people will say the font size is one pixel <coughs> you will see pic px some people will say the font fo font size is one pt point some people will say font size is one em okay it is not em you have to say m so normal terminology is you have to say one m one m okay one but then anyway if you want to say em that is fine and then one rem so what is the meaning of each one of them is one pixel means one by 96 of an inch if you take an inch small inch it is one by 96 is one pixel okay now one point means one by 70 second of an inch one by 72 of an inch and coming to em it is 1 em means 100 percent of the parent so what do i mean by this is let us say there is an element and inside that element there is one more element okay let's say here now this element is the parent element now what does it mean 1 em means whatever is applied to the parent 100 percent of the parent now if you write 2 em it means whatever is applied to the parent 200 percent of it double of it 1.5 means 1.5 times of the parent and now 1 rem means 100 percent of the root what does it mean the root element for all the elements is html if you remember everything is present within the html right and now there is an element here and for this element if i write rem rem one rem it means whatever is applied to html tag whatever is applied to html tag you are taking 100 percent of it so whatever it, it means it simply means whatever is applied to html i will apply now if you write two rem 2 rem means 200 percent of the html whatever uh, size is applied to html 200 percent of it 3 means 300 percent of it okay now if you observe this so here first there is a p tag so this is a p tag paragraph tag <clears throat> and in the paragraph tag we are using id as pixel and here if you observe the style sheet to the pixel we are applying 20 pixel font size 
to the pixel we are applying 20 pixel font size therefore we are going to get one pixel right yeah to the pixel we are applying 20 pixel so this part is 20 pixel see it is not that big and for the next one the id next paragraph tag the id is point and for point we are putting 20 points is the size therefore this is the 20 point size 20 point size okay and for the third one id is given as em and if you look at it it is given as 1m so whatever is the parent so what is the parent of paragraph here footer so what is applied to footer 12 points so understand this if you look at this here footer is there inside the footer paragraph is there therefore parent of paragraph is footer now whatever is applied to footer we are going to take it 100% see so here it is given as 1em therefore whatever is applied to parent will be applied to this so this part this part is 12 12 points okay now if you look at the next one so it is given id equal to rem now to the id rem the font size is 1 rem is given 1 rem is given okay now what does it mean to the parent the root the root is html whatever is the root whatever is the root element whatever its size is we are going to do relative to it okay so now if you look at it html is given extra large xx large size font size is xx large means extra large now that same size is given to the this particular para element why because rem is given therefore whatever is the size of the html is that same size will be applied to this paragraph okay anyway you don't have to buy hard them no one is going to ask you these in interviews just for the sake of information i'm doing it actually uh, there are there are some important topics in css but uh, they are not going to specifically ask you what is one pixel what is one point what is one em all those things okay now the next one is font weight how bold do you want the font to be okay so you can say normal or you can say bold now this is going to say this is going to make normal or bold and now you can also say lighter and bolder which means relative to the parent whichever is the parent element whatever is the bold of boldness of it it will increase or decrease the boldness lighter means it will go lighter than the parent bolder means it will go bolder than the parent similarly in order to indicate the boldness you can also use the numbers 100 to 900 900 is very bold and 100 is normal now whenever you do lighter then minus 100 will be done to the parent and it will be used whenever you say bolder plus 100 will be done to the parent and it will be used okay now coming to the font families there are many font families but generally in general practice whenever you are experimenting or trying out a new font it is always better to give two font families so what it means is if this font family if this font family is not present then automatically this font family will be chosen so you should you should uh, use very popular font family which is accepted by all the browsers here as the backup and then the new one here if you are using a new one okay and now sometimes the font family name can be having spaces like this times new york 
new roman times new roman is there now you can see that there are spaces here there are spaces so whenever there are spaces it is better to give uh, it is it you should give not better you should give uh, these quotes double quotes you should put them in double quotes and you can give the second alternative uh, font family also okay and then you can also align the text so if you want the text to be in the left you can say text align left if you want it to be in the right you can say text align right or if you want it in the center you can say text align center okay thank you hi let's say that you have liked the website it is always a good thing if you are developing or if you are designing a website especially html css parts it is always simple uh, a nice thing to see other websites and see what they have used in order to get that look and feel and then use them in your own website so i will show you how to do that so in uh, you can you can actually go to any website let us say i like this website and i want to see what are the properties that they have used in css now for that you can do two things either you can click uh, right click and do inspect or you can go here and there are three dots in the top there are three dots you click on those three dots and then you can go to more tools and from that more tools you can go to developer tools or you can click on inspect anything is same then you are going to see all the elements for example I want to see how they have designed this particular element okay uh, I mean I mean to say this heading resource for developers you can click on that you can hover on that there is a button here to the left corner top left corner click on that then when you click on that yeah click on that and when you go on it then it will automatically show you where it is now you can click on h1 so it is inside h1 so if you click on h1 you can see that resource for developers is there okay resource for developers is there and for developers there is an underline right and after that there is a break so all that is it is html now if you want to see what are the uh, styles applied you can come to styles here there is styles tab you can go to styles there you can see what are all these styles like what is the font size it is 3m 3rem what is the font weight 200 so font weight means how bold it is going to be from 100 to uh, 800 how bold it is going to be and then there are something some other things which we didn't discuss it they will come later and then what is the font and some of them are actually overridden so th like this you can see everything and in fact uh, you know you can go to styles and you can do here there is a plus button in the styles so yeah now let's let's see the summary of it one and then get back to it so if you see there are three dots not the actual the outer dots inner dots are there three dots i don't know what to call those dots and then there is more tools and in the more tools there is css overview now here you can actually see what about everything what are the colors they have used so they have clearly it is clearly showing you what are all the colors used in the website and if you like any color they have they have also shown you the hexadecimal code for that color you can copy it in your website as it is if you like that color okay you don't have to worry about that color is good how to get that color and all clearly it will be there okay and then if you want to know about font you can go to font info they are using times new roman font and then the font size is there font weight is there and then line line height is there so there are many things about it okay so they are also showing you how many times 16 pixel is used 305 times 24 pixel 284 times like that it is giving you the entire summary now if you want to if you are developing a website and if you want to do some modifications on the website by using inspect tools you can also do that okay for example here there is a plus button in the developer tools there is a plus button in the styles there you can write any style for example i want to change the font to red color i can say color is red 
then it is automatically changing to red so don't think that whatever ch changes you apply here is going to go back to the server and everyone is going to see that no only in your local copy you can make these modifications and see how they look and maybe you can apply in your own website it is not like uh, these are going to change for everyone okay like this you can use developer tools i think uh, if you start using developer tools you will get to know what are the various features available what are the various tools how to get the information and all okay thank you